Hello everyone, my name is Alin Banciu. I am a master student from Romania, University Transylvania of Brasov, Faculty of Product Design and Environment Protection. I was nominated by Dr. Smagul Karazanov from Institute for Energy Technology, Scheller, Norway, to participate in this interesting competition. The subject of the presentation is related to the changes that can be brought by silicon in water cleaning processes. We all know how important drinking water is with its current usage increase. The water usage increase is related to the increase in human population, industry and shale gas production. By looking yesterday, today and tomorrow, we can observe that the shale gas production is increasing tremendously in time, this technology using more and more water for its process. To realize how important water is, we can actually relate to the words generated by this environment component, water. There have been multiple conflicts due to water, such as Arab-Israeli war, Israel-Syria, Jordan, Egypt, and USA and Iraq war. In our case, silicon can play the role of an equalizer. The humanity needs are represented by water, energy, and a clean environment, while the earth needs are represented by the resource preservation and durability. We can observe an unbalance which can be fixed by silicon application. By using silicon, the earth needs can be enforced and the well desired balance can be restored in time. Silicon cannot be used on itself in wastewater cleaning process. It can be used as a hybrid component in titanium dioxide photocatalytic system. As we can notice, a photocatalytic process is based on energy levels. By using an adequate source of energy, electrons are excited into higher states and photocatalytic reactions takes place. Introducing silicon in this chain reaction, the photocatalytic system is enhanced. Different energy levels are created and treatment process is improved. Due to its nature, silicon has the property of absorbing more visible light, which is the main purpose of its use in energy saving technologies, in our case the source of energy. By its nature, titanium dioxide can absorb UV light, while silicon has the capability of absorbing the visible region of the solar radiation distribution. By using silicon as an hybrid component in titanium dioxide system, visible solar radiation is absorbed by silicon. Electrons generated are transferred to titanium dioxide, enhancing the wastewater treatment process. If we observe the path of water in environment, we have wastewater generation, wastewater treatment, followed by water recycle. By recycling, the water is sent back to the water source. By using silicon in wastewater treatment process, the opportunity of reusing the water is created. Here we can notice a small proof of silicon titanium dioxide hybrid system synthesis product. As it is showed, the system have large crystals which further needs to be transformed into powders. In this second figure, we can observe the milled large crystals that we previously saw, this being the form of the final product. 